Welcome to Project Ventive channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Valkyrie, NASA's humanoid space robot. She stands on her own, the yellow harness is only to catch her if she falls. Meet Valkyrie, she's 6 feet and 2 inches tall, weighs about 300 pounds, and costs 2 million dollars. And one day this humanoid space robot, or more likely her much more advanced descendant, might help humans colonize Mars. Although that ultimate goal is still a long ways off, Valkyrie, a prototype developed by NASA's Johnson Space Center, will take her first Martian-specific test next month, as 20 teams guide a simulated version of the robot through a set of scenarios. Winners may take home a hefty prize. $1 million is on the table. Valkyrie looks not unlike Iron Man, the glowing circle on her chest marking her status, blue when motors are engaged, for example. But draw back the infrared transparent faceplate and instead of Tony Stark, you'll find a whirring, LiDAR sensor that's constantly scanning the surroundings for objects and obstacles. NASA's Valkyrie was designed and built by the Johnson Space Center, JSC, Engineering Directorate to compete in the 2013 DARPA Robotics Challenge, DRC, trials. Valkyrie, a name taken from Norse mythology, is designed to be a robust, rugged, entirely electric humanoid robot capable of operating in degraded or damaged human-engineered environments. Building on prior experience from designing Robonaut 2, the JSC Valkyrie team designed and built this robot within a 15-month period, implementing improved electronics, actuators and sensing capability from earlier generations of JSC humanoid robots. Following the robot's appearance at the 2013 DRC trials, the Valkyrie team modified and improved the robot, modifying the hands to increase reliability and durability, redesigning the ankle to improve performance and upgrading sensors for increased perception capability. The Valkyrie team also partnered with the Florida Institute for Human and Machine Cognition, IHMC, to implement their walking algorithms. On NASA hardware in preparation for the Space Robotics Challenge, part of NASA's game-changing development program and centennial challenges, cameras and sensors abound on Valkyrie, in addition to a multi-sense SL camera. On her head, which combines laser, 3D stereo, and video to get a sense of the environment around her, additional, hazard cameras, look ahead and behind from her torso. On each three-fingered hand, 38 sensors help maintain dexterity. Numerous small motors, actuators, in engineer speak, control the robot's 44 degrees of freedom, including seven jointed arms. NASA's R5 Acker Valkyrie was designed and built by the Johnson Space Center, JSC, Engineering Directorate to compete in the 2013 DARPA Robotics Challenge, DRC, trials. Valkyrie, a name taken from Norse mythology, is designed to be a robust, rugged, entirely electric humanoid robot capable of operating in degraded or damaged human-engineered environments. Building on prior experience from designing Robonaut 2, the JSC Valkyrie team designed and built this robot within a 15-month period, implementing improved electronics, actuators and sensing capability from earlier generations of JSC humanoid robots. Following the robot's appearance at the 2013 DRC trials, the Valkyrie team modified and improved the robot, modifying the hands to increase reliability and durability, redesigning the ankle to improve performance and upgrading sensors for increased perception capability. The Valkyrie team also partnered with the Florida Institute for Human and Machine Cognition, IHMC, to implement their walking algorithms on NASA hardware in preparation for the Space Robotics Challenge, part of NASA's game-changing development program and Centennial the brains of the robot are two Intel Core i7 computers, which combine the sensor's input and determine the best course of action. And, while testing is generally done with a power cord in place, Valkyrie also has a battery pack that's good for about an hour. All of that sensing, computing, and moving will be essential to Valkyrie's future A mission on Mars. While NASA initially developed Valkyrie, or, as she was initially called, R5, for disaster relief, in 2014 the agency changed course to reconfigure her for deep space. Valkry one of a class of caretaker robots, Valkyrie might help set up living compounds on Mars, maintaining power and life support systems until the humans arrive. Valkyrie and the humans developing her are now facing space-based trials, such as the The Space Robotics Challenge that takes place in June. Here's the setup. In the not-too-distant future, Vielkari R5 has arrived on Mars along with supplies ahead of a human mission. Overnight a dust storm damaged the habitat and solar array, and caused the primary communication antenna to become misaligned. R5 must now repair an air leak in the habitat, deploy a new solar panel, and align the communication antenna. 
So basically, Valkyrie will replay the plot of The Martian, minus the part about growing potatoes. 20 teams will compete in the challenge, which is entirely simulated. Teams will issue computer commands to a virtual Valkyrie, who will operate within a virtual Martian backdrop. But virtual doesn't mean easy. Teams will have to deal with strictly defined tasks, limited bandwidth, and a built-in latency designed to mimic the communications delay between Earth and Mars. But the Space Robotics Challenge is only one step of a marathon. NASA has also provided MIT and Northeastern University with Valkyrie prototypes for further development. A third group at the University of Edinburgh, Scotland, purchased a Valkyrie prototype from NASA. These three teams are teaching Valkyrie complex subjects, such as how to walk across uneven surfaces and grasp different shaped objects. They're also learning how robots and humans can best communicate with each other. Valkyrie's progress on Twitter or see a live demo of her abilities, as I did at the Nerve Center in April, one thing soon becomes clear. Making a humanoid robot is hard. On the one hand of Valkyrie, it's pretty incredible to watch a person-shaped machine walk up and down a ramp or navigate a doorway. On the other hand, it's also incredible how much work it has taken to get here. Valkyrie can currently walk over flat terrain by balancing her weight at all times, says Taskan Padir, Northeastern University. That's why it looks slightly different than human walking. The ability to walk on soft or uneven terrain, he adds, is the next goal replicating humans' ability to walk has long been a robotics goal. Please subscribe this channel. NASA's building human habitats on Mars, robots will have to be human-shaped because ultimately, it will be humans, not robots, living and working on Mars. Valkyrie can be configured to run from a wall or from battery power. The custom dual-voltage battery is capable of running the robot for about an hour. When a battery is not in use, it can be replaced with a mass simulator and capacitor that simulates the mechanical and some of the electrical properties of the battery. Valkyrie's head sits atop a 3DOF neck. The main perceptual sensor is the Carnegie Robotics Multisense SL, with modifications to allow for IR-structured light point. Cloud generation in addition to the laser and passive stereo methods already implemented. Cloud generation in addition to the laser and passive stereo methods already implemented. Valkyrie also features fore and aft, hazard cameras, located in the torso. Valkyrie each upper arm consists of four series elastic rotary actuators and when combined with the forearm has seven joints. The arm has a quick mechanical and electrical disconnect between the first two joints that allows for easy shipping and service. Valkyrie features a simplified humanoid hand, with three fingers and a thumb. Each forearm consists of a single rotary actuator, realizing the wrist roll, a pair of linear actuators, realizing wrist pitch and yaw, and six finger and thumb actuators. The hands are attached to the ends of the arms with mechanical and electrical quick disconnects that allow for a sea shipping and service the robot's torso houses two series elastic. Rotary actuators, the first arm joint on either side, two series elastic linear actuators that work in concert to realize motion between T-torso and pelvis, and various M computer and power facilities, T. Vakari pelvis houses three series elastic rotary actuators, the waist rotation joint, and the hip rotation joint of each leg. Each upper leg contains five series elastic rotary actuators. The waist rotation joint, and the hip rotation joint of each leg. The ankle is realized using two series elastic linear actuators working in concert. The leg has a quick mechanical and electrical disconnect between the first two joints that allows for easy shipping and service. The pelvis is considered the robot's base frame, and includes two IMUs. NASA announced today that MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, CSAIL, is one of two university research groups nationwide that will receive a 6-foot, 290-pound humanoid robot to test and develop for future space missions to Mars and beyond. A group led by CSAIL principal investigator Russ Tedrake will develop algorithms for the robot, known as Valkyrie, or R5, as part of NASA's upcoming Space Robotics Challenge, which aims to create more dexterous autonomous robots that can help or even take the place of humans, extreme space, missions. NASA's challenge is divided into a virtual competition using robotic simulations, and a physical competition using the robot. Ted Rake's team, which was selected from groups that were entered in this year's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, Robotics Challenge, will receive as much as $250,000. A year for two years from NASA's Space Technology Mission Directive. NASA has awarded two humanoid robots to research groups at MIT and Northeastern, reports Brian Mastroianni for CBS News.
The robots are seen as potential tools to aid astronauts in future Mars expeditions, writes Mastroianni. They could potentially assist or even replace humans in extreme environments. Valkyrie, humanoid robot to a team led by Professor Russ Tedrake. Reynolds explains that the team will develop algorithms to make the robot more dexterous, so that they could potentially take the place of humans during extreme space missions. Exploring Deep Space by Both NASA says it is interested in humanoid robots because they can help or even replace astronauts working in extreme space environments. Robots like R5 could be used in future missions either as precursor robots performing mission tasks before humans arrive or as human-assistive robots collaborating with the human crew. While R5 was initially designed to complete disaster relief maneuvers, its main goal is now to prove itself worthy of even trickier terrain, deep space exploration. Advances in robotics, including human-robotic collaboration, are critical to developing the capabilities required for our journey to Mars said Steve Jurczyk, Associate Administrator for the Space Technology Mission. Directorate, STMD, at NASA headquarters in Washington, in a NASA press release. We are excited to engage these university research groups to help NASA with this next big step in robotics technology development, autonomy for autos, robots and more. As head of CSAIL's Robot Locomotion Group, Ted Rake has extensive experience with autonomous robots Valkyrie. Over the past three years he led a team of more than 20 researchers to develop algorithms for a government competition to get another six-foot-tall humanoid robot named Atlas to open doors, turn valves, drill holes, climb stairs, scramble over cinder blocks, and drive a car, all in the space of one hour. The larger collaboration will be coordinated by Gil Pratt PhD, 89, a former MIT professor who most recently served as program director at DARPA's Defense Sciences Office. Please subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching.